Hello YouTubers, my name is Edward Gilbert. I am a video producer and editor and um, I am introducing a series on how to edit using Final Cut Pro. A lot of the techniques that I'll be teaching can also be done in Sony Vegas and a lot of the other editing software but you'll have to um, search out through your programming and your software to find the uh, effects and the techniques that I'm using. Um, the first video that I'm going to introduce is how to create a soft, warm film look to a washed out grainy video to improve it and give it more of an enriched look. Um, I'll be posting videos according to your comments and your responses. So if there's something that you would like to learn in Final Cut Pro, um, if you would post a comment, I'll see what I can do about getting a video put together to teach you that lesson. So anyway, let's get started with this lesson um, and uh, I think you'll be quite impressed. Okay, for this lesson I've already opened Final Cut Pro and I have a clip logged that's named Terra Light. I'm going to open this clip up in the viewer and I will only select a few seconds of the clip just to illustrate what I'm doing here and we're going to drag this clip to the timeline now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the clip we're going to hold down the option button drag up to the next line and then release the option button and let go of the left mouse button. Now you have a duplicate copy of the clip. And you can see both of the videos look the same in the preview and in the viewer. So now we can get started on making some changes. What we want to do is open up the first layer in the viewer and we're going to add a filter. So you're going to go to effects um, video filters, blur, and then drag Gaussian blur and drop it into the video. Then we're going to open the filters tab and we want to set that to 4. We'll click back on the video so you can see now it's a little blurry. The reason you don't see it in the uh, preview window is because the first layer is covering it so now what we need to do is select the first layer right click on the mouse or you can hold down if you don't have a right click button on your mouse a lot of Macs don't hold down the uh, control button and click on it and then you're gonna go to composite mode and select soft light you see the, ch the dramatic change between the two videos so now let's render it. We'll render the video. And you'll see how much better this works. This, uh, by using this effect you get a soft warm film look that gives it a much better look than the original. Now let's go play the original in the preview window and you'll see that um, it's a little grainy and a little washed out and we totally took care of it so um, that's that for this lesson alright so that concludes this lesson I will be watching for your posts and comments and I will be creating more video content for you thank you for watching my videos